So I got my period this morning, which believe it or not, I'm actually a little bit happy about because I thought I had gotten it four days ago, but it was just a very, very light spotting for four days. So I was freaking out thinking that something was wrong. We're on to month seven and naturally that comes with a mix of emotions. I usually process the failure of a cycle within a day. So I processed it like three days ago because I knew that with the spotting, I most likely was on my period or was going to get my period so i processed that a few days ago so i'm okay now and it was crazy because i was reading romans chapter 8 and i was highlighting like crazy i feel like god was speaking to me that morning and i wanted to share with you the verses that i highlighted it's romans 8 verse 24 and it says for in this hope we were saved but hope that is seen is no hope at all who hopes for what they already have but if we hope for what we do not yet have we wait for it patiently and then another verse was 28 and we know that in all things god works for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose verse 31 part 2 if god is for us who can be against us i just thought that was really powerful especially verse 24 and 25 if we hope for what we do not yet have we wait for it patiently what a powerful verse especially on the morning that i realized it was not our cycle so on to month seven we trudge forward we have no other choice and let's see how my emotions go this week because one day i'm perfectly fine and happy and totally trusting god and then the next day I could be in the pits of despair and think that my life is over So I'm drinking my iced coffee. This is my pumpkin pod I've been alternating with matcha and you guys the days that I drink matcha instead of coffee are honestly tragic Like I get so tired. So I don't know Hello, and thank you for calling Alaskan Skincare. So apparently the other day when I wasn't here, there was a squirrel that came into the office and it was hilarious and they tried to get it out. So I made it a reel. And it's so funny, this squirrel was like jumping around trying to get outside. I wish I would have been here because that is actually hilarious. I love squirrels. I think we should have kept it as a pet, but how funny is that? <laughs> Anyways, happy Tuesday. It's already the afternoon. We went to Longhorn for lunch today and we got salads. It's actually really yummy. I'm paying this bill that's overdue because I didn't know it was due, but it's okay. So I'm mailing a check. We need uh, one more medical assistant because my staff is hardly, uh, it's hard at work. <laughs> we need one more, so if you're looking for employment, this is your spot right here. Vinny, what are you doing in there? You like your box? She has been loving this box that AJ cut out for her. She's like always in here, so I feel bad throwing it out. It's been here for like a week. Good morning guys, happy Wednesday. Last night I made this really yummy risotto from HelloFresh. If you guys see it on the HelloFresh website, make sure you grab it because it was so good. It was a little bit laborious. It took me 30 minutes standing by the stove to mix it and make sure it was perfect, but it came out so good. So yeah, happy Wednesday. I'm gonna go to Publix before work because I need to get a magic eraser for work. And then I also am completely out of toilet paper, hand soap, um, and other things that we desperately need. So I'm gonna make a quick trip. Our first patient is not till 10 today. So that's really nice I get an extra hour and I'm having one of these Jimmy Dean sandwiches. Let's do a little taste test Ooh, I know these are not the healthiest but Mmm Not bad. Not bad. Not as good as Starbucks, but really close. Really really close. Very good. We don't clean it often. We haven't cleaned it in a couple months. So toothbrush, magic eraser, and toothpaste is doing the trick. It's just taking a lot of manual effort. Okay, that took so long. I'm so tired, but it's done. I cleaned it up, cleaned the floor. Now I'm gonna take some of these 
and try to get the scuffs out of the door. As you can see, or maybe you can't see, we have some scuffs on all the doors. Our party is tomorrow, so hence the extreme cleaning. Although we're having Thai food for lunch, which I'm really excited. I just got sushi though, so that's my reward. Okay, it's 12 o'clock. I'm picking up the Thai food for everybody. I'm so hungry and it's 69 degrees outside. It's feeling like fall and I am just in a great mood. I think the weather totally plays a role in our moods. Unfortunately, it's not going to last very long because it's just like a cold front, but it feels... Is this what fall feels like, you guys? Is this fall? Because I'm obsessed. Like, I get it now. I get it. Do you have acne scars? Well, if you do. Do you? <laughs> Hold on, jeez. I'm quick here. I'm quick now. Do you have acne? <laughs> Hold on. I'm like still moving and you're starting. If you are walking around with acne scars, well, and there's geometry. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I'm sweating. I can't. Oh, it's just stressful because we only have. All right guys, I'm home from work and we had a bunch of leftovers from lunch So I brought some duck home for AJ. My mom accidentally ordered an extra duck entree So I made a plate for him and it came with this like really good sauce. This is from a Thai place And then we have some crab rangoons This is everything I got from Publix before work mouthwash loofah jelly pads tampons hand soap refill and a two pack of jiffy all natural peanut butter and toilet paper pretty cool eh i really want to go on a walk but it's like really wet and kind of raining but it's so nice it's 65 degrees and i think it's worth potentially getting rained on because this weather does not happen all the time so i feel like i need to take advantage of it i really wish we had our patio furniture right now because i would totally be sitting out there i cut up some cheese for aj's lunches tomorrow and friday like how cute is that you guys i'm so domestic so i got the loofah for aj because this is his old loofah <laughs> like literally how does this even happen it's so interesting to be walking at this hour kind of like dusk because everybody has their lights on and you just like peek in and you like see them eating dinner watching tv talking and it's just like observing different families it's so cool and i can also like see the layout of their house and be like, oh, that one's like my house, or oh, they have like a different style. It's just cool. Good morning, guys. Happy Thursday. Our work event is tonight, so I am making a cheese plate. I just ran to Publix to pick up some ingredients. I got prosciutto mixture, aged gouda, manchego, which is my favorite cheese, aged cheddar, and another manchego, and then I also have regular medium cheddar. I got strawberries, grapes, and triscuits. I've never made a charcuterie board before, so let's see how I do. Should I turn on the light? Oh, right. Wonderful, my bad decisions get accounted in the algorithms. No statistician could dissuade me from my bigger vision. I know my occupation's quite an unlikely place in this world to occupy and talk about upon a daily basis. Our information's predetermined by some biased business. We all in sermon to Silicon Valley. Okay, guys, I'm doing my hair for the event. Why did I never think of doing a half up, half down with two pieces in the front? Like, are you kidding me? This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Okay, you heard it here first. I invented this hairstyle. I just used my one inch barrel. It looks much better in person, okay? Especially this, this is my good side. All right, I made myself a little lunch, quick lunch. It's just a breakfast burrito, basically. Eggs, cheese, and some beans. It doesn't look that appetizing, so I hope it tastes better than it looks. Okay, this is what I'm wearing to our little work events, and I think the hair looks really good in a low pony with the curls and having like a few pieces in the front. I think it's so cute. This, everything I'm wearing is from Maritzia, of course, and I'm wearing these platform sandals from Nordstrom. I really need to get like a nicer platform, but the thing with these pants is that I have to wear a heel or a platform. Otherwise, they're too long, and there's no way I'm wearing heels all night. I need to pick up the catering 
order at 3.30 and then head over to work. In case you're new here, I work for my mom as a dermatologist and about once a year we do a huge sale, 20% off of all cosmetics and skincare. So that's tonight. You guys, I am the absolute worst. I only got one clip from last night, like literally just one iPhone clip. I don't know what I was thinking, but I was just so busy talking to patients and like facilitating that obviously filming was not like my priority, but it was so much fun. We had a lot of good people come. We had some sales, we had some drinks and some cupcakes. I actually took home a bunch of cupcakes, which I shouldn't have. And it's like a complete 24 hours later, I went to work today. I actually wasn't supposed to work today but somebody called out so i had to scurry on in it is 507 i just got home waiting for aj to get home and yeah i guess i'm going to continue this vlog into the weekend because what are we at 10 minutes i don't know and you guys Vinny is constipated that's all i'm gonna say good morning it's the next day it's saturday and okay so i thought that Vinny was constipated but it turns out that she most likely has a UTI because she's been peeing little drops of bloody water all over the house, like on the bed, on the carpet, like any surface she can find on the couch. We left this towel out for her so that she goes on the towel because she's literally been going everywhere. I had to wash all the blankets already. So we have a vet appointment in 45 minutes. It started on Thursday and it's Saturday. And so last night we went to PetSmart and we picked up this UTI homeopathic cream, whatever, serum. Obviously she hates it because we have to like drop it in her mouth. And you guys know her, she's crazy. And it's not working. So we're gonna take her in because a UTI can be pretty bad if it's not treated. So yeah, it's been two days. Well, yeah, but I don't wanna risk it because tomorrow is Sunday and all of the vets are closed um and i'm sure they charge a premium for like emergencies on sundays so i would rather just get it done not only for her own health but because we have to keep her in the room because she's literally putting peeing blood everywhere and that's just not not hygienic i hope the vet is just going to prescribe something like antibiotics that we can give her and she'll get better quickly hi baby what's up like sh we have another one here because she, like I said, she's been going everywhere and she's been going in and out of the litter box like every five minutes. I feel so bad for her. Vinny, come here. You have litter all over your body, Vinny. Can't even pet you. Look at you. Are you all ready to go? Are you excited? She's like, get me out of here. Okay, we're back from the vet. Um, he did say it was a UTI. He couldn't get a urine sample from her because she was very feisty. So he gave her two injections. One was like an anti-inflammatory and one was a antibiotic. The total was 217, which is not bad. I thought it was going to be more. And we've been home for like an hour and she hasn't peed since. So it's looking good. I'm really happy. Gonna do a little at-home workout in the garage. It's leg day. I'm also gonna listen to Taylor Swift's new album because everybody's talking about it, so I wanna be like in the loop. So I'm gonna listen to that while I work out. Okay guys, it's much later. I showered and everything. 
I did something kind of crazy. Oops. I painted this thing brown. <laughs> I painted these posts and then the railings and I also did the inside. I did like all of these. I still have to do the edges with the brush but I did like all of the rolling work today. I didn't do that fence because remember we're going to be replacing the whole fence. It's going to be a brown, like a similar brown color. So obviously I just painted the part that's going to be remaining but how good does it look with this? So if you look at it from over here, ignore the ugly fence in the back, that's gonna change. But how good does that look? It used to be blue, like this, the shed. Ugh. I'm gonna paint the shed the same color as the house and everything's gonna be so cute. And then I wanna do something with these pavers here. I either wanna paint them a more forgiving color, not necessarily this dark brown, maybe like a lighter brown, like a sandstone, or change them all together to like something more cool you guys our fence is little literally falling down but you want to see something guys so this is my neighbor's house right it used to be completely yellow they just painted it they're working like at the speed of light and they just recoped the pool they did the edges here with a nice marble i'm sure they're gonna do everything like they're gonna change this i th i think they're gonna paint the fence yeah they freaking did that fast like within two weeks, the house is completely transformed. And I wonder if they're gonna replace this side of the fence because they don't have their fence on this side. You know what I mean? So hopefully they replace this side so that we don't have to because obviously the more fence you have, the more expensive it is. So that means we would just have to do like this side and that side. So anyways, yeah, I still have to do the edges of this and i did these as well i still have to do the edges here it is such a long process you guys like this whole thing is such a long process i look like an elf okay with my ear out uh such a long process but definitely worth it look at vinny in the window look at vinny in the window hi baby are you feeling better and who knows maybe we will revive this garden one day i don't know Probably not, but maybe the next owners will enjoy this. Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. Why is my voice so deep? I have been loving the chocolate mocha creamer from Chobani. Oh, it is so good. It's like Christmas. I cannot wait for Christmas, you guys. I worked out yesterday. You guys saw me. I did a 40 minute workout and my Apple Watch registered it and like I had my whole workout was recorded. But then my rings were not even like moving at all. And I was checking all day. I was like, dude, does it even count if the Apple Watch didn't get it? Okay, some thoughts. Okay, a couple thoughts. A lot of you guys are commenting, why didn't you paint the wood on top of the deck before putting plywood on? And you know what, guys? Just don't comment things like that. Don't remind me of my mistakes, okay? My thought was that if we paint the plywood before putting it on the top of the pergola, it would scratch the paint because the way we were putting it on, it was just me and AJ, we were dragging the, the wood across the top of the beams. So I was scared that the paint would be basically ruined by dragging the wood painted already. But then I started painting it after the fact and I was like, wow, this is a lot of freaking work. It's so much harder to paint it. <laughs> while it's on top but okay so you live and you learn okay next time i'm gonna take the risk and just drag it and then i'll just like touch up the spots that you know need touching up but anyways because <clears throat> i know i'm gonna get so many comments you guys are crazy um but you guys are right you're right okay it's just okay taylor swift's new album i Okay, first of all, I want to say that I'm not her biggest fan to begin with, so this may not be a fair judgment. Like, I don't gravitate towards that type of music, like, more... I don't even know how to describe it, like... <laughs> But I enjoyed a couple of the songs. I liked the one with Lana Del Rey and I liked a couple of them and a few of them I was like, what is this? Like this sounds crazy. I don't have any strong feelings one way or the other. I don't love her music to begin with. So uh, as soon as I listened to the one with Lana Del Rey, I immediately was like, oh my gosh, I miss Lana. So I switched to Lana Del Rey. <laughs> so I listened to that while I was painting and I love Lana. Oh, she's just so... I remember listening to her in high school and just like being in my feelings and, and just vibing. Oh, 
I love her. So yeah, happy Sunday. Gonna go to church at the 11 o'clock service. Originally, I told AJ I wanted to go at nine, but I've been waking up so much later and I've been having really weird dreams. I don't know what's going on with me. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this really weird week in my life, like super random. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.